What's good everybody? Hey, welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling. And today I'm bringing to you another one of my crock pot recipes with me, AB. Now check this out. Listen, if you guys are looking for a budget friendly meal, and listen, we're gonna take it like an American uh, tradition. Everybody out here, probably every household in America, you know, makes tacos. Why not mix that tacos with that busy lifestyle and we're gonna use a crock pot. And today I'm getting ready to show you guys just how easy it is to make, you know, a crock pot taco pasta. Hey, so with that being said, we finna go over these ingredients. I'm not gonna over talk it. We're gonna get right into it. I'm gonna show you just how easy it is. Oh, and the key thing is budget friendly. Bought all of these ingredients for under 20 bucks. Can't beat that. Let's get it. All right, we just finna get right into these ingredients. And again, as I just said, listen, this is an under $20 meal, you know, super easy. And I'm gonna start off by just saying this right here. All right, here we go. Hopefully, hopefully I don't have no glare on it. Look, these are just the large shells. You know what, just, I'm using my store brand bar. You know, uh, this is a uh, Stater Brothers. I'm using that. You don't need to go spin out for them way out name brands. You know what, uh, this just works fine because this is gonna be a mixture. We're gonna season it and I promise you it's gonna be good. Right here, we got two and a half cups of uh, chicken broth. Now remember, most, I'm gonna say about 98% of the recipes when they call for water, you can always substitute it with chicken broth. I'm gonna tell you, that tech, that's what sends your dish over the top with that extra flavor. All right. Look, one cup of uh, shredded, shredded cheese. Listen, this, this is a little bit more than one cup. I like a lot of cheese. I like mine to be cheesy. We got a bell pepper. You guys call it what you want to call it I, as far as the size go. This is what I normally would call a large. Y'all know I was in Texas and everything was this big. But this right here is a large green bell pepper. We're going to dice that. Right here, we got one cup of crushed uh, tomatoes. We got ground, you know, uh, pepper. Of course, right here, you can see we got salt. That's kosher salt. We're gonna have one cup. I'm using this uh, Tostitos, you know, chunky, mild. Look, that's the thing, it's medium. Look, this is the, uh, a medium bite to it. I'm using this right here. We're just gonna get one cup of that. Now, this is three tablespoons. I know what you guys thinking. You might think that's that Creole kick, but no, this is a taco seasoning. And then for those of you guys that don't have taco seasoning, readily available look down at the description box below i'm gonna also show you what's you know the details of how to make your own at home then we got a 15 ounce can of a uh, whole corn right here look it's just been drained this is ready to go super easy and then right here we got one pound this is my local store brand you know what look how lean this is this is a 96 4. hey super lean Look, it just, you know what, less to drain. I just used this in another video and I can promise you it won't be nothing to drain once I brown that. So, super easy. We're gonna put it in this crock pot and then we're gonna set it. After we set it, we're gonna either do it on high or low. I'm gonna give you guys the settings when that time comes. It depends on how much time I have. So, with that being said, said we finna get right into uh, browning this, this meat and we finna get it. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is set this on medium high. On here, it reads 375 degrees. We're just gonna go ahead and add our lean ground beef, you know, to the pan. All right, now once we got our, you know, our ground beef in our pan, look, we wanna, you know, we started out on medium high heat. What I did was I got myself a wooden spoon. A hey, key, you guys, do not. You can see that's a coated pan. We don't wanna use no metal utensils. We just wanna go ahead and get ourselves something you know, like wood utensils, or we can go ahead and use some of them silicone. Now right there, you just see me going ahead and grabbing some, uh, you know, some fresh ground pepper, you know, grinding it over to the top. You know, I gave it about one teaspoon, and then right there, just a couple of, you know, generous pinches of that kosher salt. Now that right there, listen, that right there, that's the taco seasoning. Look, I could have dumped it all in there, you know, and just did it, you know, all at one time, but I always say just a little bit, you know, at a time. So I divided it up into threes, I just went ahead and just sprinkled it over the top and I used that wooden spoon. And notice I use a wooden spoon that's flat on the end. Perfect for like breaking up those larger, you know, ground up pieces of meat. So we just keep on, you know, getting it. And there right there, you can see, look, it really doesn't render no fat when you use that 96.4. Hey, super easy, you guys. Now I'm not seeing any more pink. So what I'm getting ready to do is, cause it's gonna continue cooking inside of the uh, slow cooker. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and just remove it. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off. And now that I have it off, I'm gonna get ready and put it in the slow cooker. Now I'm gonna tell you, like again, this is the most intense part of this whole cook right here. You guys looking for an easy meal? And I gotta say this, listen, 
if you're using a crock pot or if you don't have one like this, this one right here, this is a digital one, but the most important feature to me is that the fact that you can cook it and this only gonna cook so long. So if you're going off to work, you want it to be able to set itself on, you know, on warm so that it doesn't overcook. That way when you come in, you can just go ahead and if you have something else to do to it, you can do it then. You can't beat it. You set this, leave the house, you come back, you got a full meal and it's not over, uh, not overcooked. So if you guys are looking for something to uh, get somebody for the holidays or you're looking to upgrade your, you know, your kitchen utensils, I suggest just spending a little extra money if you can and just, you know, these are about, you can get them for 40, 50, 60, you know, $60 on up. Hey, they are must have. All right, there you go. We just want it brown. Okay, now what we're getting ready to do is we're getting ready to, you know, just add our ground beef. Look, that's almost nothing, you know, so here we go. Man, it smells good. Now, remember that green bell pepper? Listen, I don't want to, look, it's, I call this just a rough chop. That's all this is right here. See how big that is? This is what you want right here. Not diced, but just get it about that big. Now, for the crushed, you know, tomatoes. Now for the, you know, the chunky salsa, what we're gonna do is we gotta get one cup. Salsa. Now, for the drained corn. And then finally, the broth. We're gonna go ahead and just pour that in here. And what we're getting ready to do now is we're getting ready to give it a start. Man, I know you guys can see it right now. Now, the only two things you should have left will be the cheese and your shells. We're gonna get to the shells after we finish cooking it, then we're gonna cook it with the shells for about 20 minutes, but we're gonna check them after about 10. So, we just give it a stir like this. We add the pot, and now we set the time. Okay, so for what I'm doing today, I'm gonna go ahead and set it on low. I got plenty of time, so I turn the power on. I'm gonna put it on low, and then I'm gonna put the time up. We're gonna go for five hours. And that's it. Then I'll show you what it looks like after five hours. After five hours, and I like the way it looked, then that's when I'll add the shells. This part right here is real easy. So even if you've been at home, it's been on uh, low, I mean, been on warm, what you wanna do is just kick it up to high. We're gonna add our shells, cook them for about 20 minutes then, and after that, then they'll be ready to serve. Okay, look, it's already been five hours. It's really somewhere like right around like five hours and like 20 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the top. We're gonna take a look at it. And then if we, if I like it, I'm gonna go ahead and just add my shells. I'm gonna show you guys this little trick right here. Now after it finishes cooking, after five hours, this is what it looks like. And you remember, I always tell everybody, listen, we gotta taste our food. Now that's fully cooked food right there. It just got an excessive amount of liquid in it. But right now it'd be a good place to go ahead and you know, taste it. Once we taste it, we'll find out if we need to add any salt or pepper to it. But I can tell you after I tasted it, boom, it was ready. Now we add our shells. Now, you know, I talked about that excess of uh, amount of liquid. Hey, check it out. Now you get it, you guys. You don't need to pre-cook your shells, and that's the trick right there. Listen, we're going to cook it for 20 minutes on high, but we're going to set a timer for 10 minutes and check it and see where we at. This is what it looked like on high after 10 minutes. You know, just stirred it around, you know, stirred it up, looked at it, saw what it need, you know what, and felt it. I decided that I'm gonna go back and let it continue to cook for another 10 minutes for a total of 20. Okay, let me go ahead and we're gonna remove the top. And here you can see that the shells have been cooked. And what it did was absorb all of that, you know, that liquid, that excess liquid that was in there. I'm not gonna say it's really excess, Hey, listen, this is just like the perfect blend right here. And now for the good part. Guess what, folks? It's cheese time. Now, you know what they say. Everything's better with bacon, butter, and of course, you got to have cheese. Now, you just want to go ahead and give it a, you know, a good mix and then add the remainder. Remember, I always add things, you know, like in increments. That way, if, that way I never can say that I put too much in there. If I like it where it is, I can stop. Now, look at that right there. Tell me you guys ain't salivating right there. That should do it. You should have the water mouth. All right, now, go ahead, put it in the bowl, 
and then go ahead and you know you know serve it up now i want to just say a hey, special thanks to everybody that's joined my channel memberships that's what's up and thank you so tell me what you guys think about this one here super easy hey and most importantly it's budget friendly Hey, I don't know if you guys knew just how easy it was to just make a taco pasta. You know what, just, you know, just a little bit of browning in the beginning, then we throw it all in the pot. We just call these them dumping goals. Hey, but listen, it's that time of the year. And listen, for us busy people, it's out here, you know what, you put this together, you come home, you finish it up with your, pot, you know, with your pasta, and boom, that's it right there. Hey, so I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below, how many people gonna really try this? And let me know what you wanna, what you guys wanna see, you know, like in the future for these crock pot recipes. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And with that being said, you guys, I'm out of here. Peace.